Using JavaScript functions in charts, just the reposition of all five charts are based on high charts library. High charts is based on JavaScript and allows users to use JavaScript functions for some of its properties. To enable JavaScript functions for HTML5 charts, you'll need to set the related property to true. To do that, go to Window, Preferences, just for Soft Studio, Properties. First, check whether the property is already defined. It's not in our case. Let's add it. The property name is com, just for soft, just for reports, high charts, function, properties, allow. Set the value to true. Press OK and apply. Congratulations, you can now use the functions. Why are they useful? First of all, the formatter properties. Where it, pretty much every object that formats labels in the chart, like tooltips or data labels, allows you to specify a formatter. You will need to pass a callback function that will be called every time a label is to be formatted. Here's how you can do it. Go to Edit Chart Properties. Go to Chart Formatting, Show Advanced Properties. Go to Plot Options, Series, Data Labels. And here you see we have a formatter set to a function. We use an expression and this function returns the value of the slice of a column and in the parentheses the percentage that it the slice makes out of the column total. Let's see how it works. As you can see here, we have an, the total value and the percentage, the total value and the percentage. Let's see how it looks like without the formatter function. It looks basic, just the value. The JavaScript functions are useful not only in the context of formatter, but also when you want to pass the whole objects to the properties. Like you can create a function that will return the value that you can use in the property. This can be a whole object definition or an area of arrays, for example. Let's take a look at this sample, plot lines. Here we have a function that returns an array of plot line objects. This is, this is the function. This is one plot line. This is another plot line. And it is returned to y-axis plot lines property. Here's how it looks in the These are the plot lines that have been returned by the function. You cannot specify this formatting right here in the y-axis plot lines. You cannot modify this property. However, you can add it and use your function here. Or you can add it directly in the XML. 